Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are doing Cathedral today. That's how we're starting this one with a little Cathedral run. Should be a good time. There are some items in the off the boss we need. We don't need Armory uh, anymore. There's nothing in Armory for us, so I don't plan to do another Armory run, but we might do Cathedral a couple of times. Also, it's a pretty good experience farm. Lots of enemies in there. Depending on the tank that we have, I'm kind of hoping that the Paladin is the tank. We have two Paladins. Another mage and, and a hunter. So yeah, we'll have to roll off for, uh, you know, items. That's fine. Our luck has been okay with that. Checking everybody's level here. Everybody is within the level range of the dungeon. So yeah, it should be a lot of good experience for us. Definitely, I think we definitely are going to get level 37 in here. For sure. Let's get buffs going. Basically on everybody. And we'll start making some water as well. And yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it. I have I have broken bracers. Yeah, I meant to get to a repair place. Didn't happen, and our bracers are looking pretty... The good thing about our bracers, though, is that they're level 14, so... Even if they were to break entirely... Um, they're not doing a lot for us, you know what I mean? 2 int and 2 stam, we're not gonna feel that. So that's the good thing. Let's allow the tank to uh, get some aggro here. I'm going to start off on single target. And then we will uh, switch over to some AoE here. That's not what I wanted. The last time I was in here was on the Rogue. We were confined to mainly single target stuff with a little bit of blade flurry. Uh, it's going to be fun to be in here with a Paladin tank and be able to open up with some AoE. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the other mage is uh, three levels above us, so I'm kind of assuming they're going to outperform us here, but we'll do the best we can. The good thing is the other mage already has the helm off of the last boss in here, so if that drops, uh, there won't be any competition for it. Same thing, I'm kind of going to open up with some single target stuff here to let the tank get threat. And uh, then we'll go ahead and we'll start in on the AoE. I'm going to wait back here and see what he does. Is he going to fight him up there? It, it looks like he's going to fight him up there. Could be dangerous. Basically, I'm going to drink after every pull, even if it's only for a couple of seconds. 
That way we're completely manned up. Is he gonna pull everything in here or are we gonna try to avoid enemies? Kind of want to get all the experience, you know? That was a nice sheep. The other mage went ahead and sheeped this guy. Very good call. This guy hates us right now. Some of the enemies in here are level 39. We are a little bit low for this, guys. That could get interesting. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to get some resist here. Resist. Big resist. We'll see how we can perform when we're getting resisted. It's, it's going to be something. Let's go ahead and evocate here. Agility and strength. Scarlet gauntlets. At least we're still consistently hitting even the level 39 guys. They probably have slightly more resistance to our spells, but it's not awful. We'll probably hit level 37 here, and then they, they won't be orange anymore at least. We have Salvation and Wisdom. How nice is that to have multiple Paladins in the group? Yeah, it looks like we're not pulling the entire courtyard for the kill experience, unfortunately. I don't really see what the point is of doing this run without pulling it all. You know, there's only one set of bosses in here. I feel like a lot of people do these dungeons a lot for the experience. Not always just for, like, the loot.
Alright, he's gonna lie in his sight, pull them back, it sounds like. As everybody runs in. Line of sight means he's gonna pull him out here, guys. I'm gonna wait for them to get grouped up here, which they are not grouped up right now. There we go. Hunter looks like he's got the runner. Not really sure why the mage is in there. I'm gonna wait till this gets under control and looks okay. It's looking better. We don't have Salve anymore, maybe he had to give it to the other mage, I'm not sure. It would make sense if it had to go to the higher level mage. There's Salve, so we should be able to get two. I guess one of them would handle Wisdom and Might, and the other one would handle Selv. He wants us to come into the room now, that's good. We're still gonna hang way back here, and uh, let him get things under control before we do much. Probably open up with some single target. That's a big resist. get myself out of there. When do blessings become 30 minute buffs? Do they get changed in Wrath from 10 minutes to 30 minutes? I feel like eventually they get changed.
Oh yeah, the tank did go down there. I guess the other mage is like wand pulling some additional guys. Thought it he thought it would just be one. Apparently it was more than one. It's kind of why I'm totally fine just letting the tank pull whatever he wants. But I can see that sometimes it might be useful to have a DPS pulling some adds if you want to do that. I feel like that would be better in like a coordinated group when everyone's on comms and you kind of know everybody. Not so much really in a pug. But to each their own, if the paladin has a problem with it, he'll say something like he kind of just did. Don't pull more than uh, one extra wizard. Magic damage uh, is the bane of tanks, basically. Uh, this is not better than what we have, obviously. Now we need to go clear the other side.
Well, uh, that didn't work out really well for us. Hoping we can get all of our mana back here before the boss fight. That would be great. Alright, that was lots of resist. Lots of resist. Uh, we can roll on the necklace. That's great. And we'll greed on the gloves. We did not win the necklace. Who won the necklace? The human paladin won the necklace. Alright, well that's it. That's Cathedral. Couple of good items in there, but nothing for us today. That's absolutely fine. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport out of here. Oops. It was a smooth run. We didn't get as much kill experience as I kind of thought we were going to. So there is that. Kind of hoping to hit level 37 in there. Uh, with that being done, we can go ahead and I'm going to jump on a flight point to get us back to Booty Bay. We still have some stuff that needs to be turned in down there that I didn't get a chance to do before getting a summon for that run. And yes, somewhere along the way here we will find someone to repair us. Because repairing is good. Probably just find someone down in Booty Bay to take care of that. I will mount up though because you can ride horses in the city. Did you know that? Sometimes I act like I don't know that. I could probably set my hearthstone in Booty Bay. That would be a really good idea. I'm pretty sure it's bound to Darkshire right now. It is. Uh, even that might have been a little bit of a closer flight point, to be honest. Uh, but it's okay. We can enjoy some of the late afternoon ambience here. 
I don't think I've ever been up to this house. Whatever this house is up here, I, I kind of want to see that. I've never seen that before, though. I, I, I'd love to be able to get up there. I wonder if we can. Hmm, curious. Overall damage, we were pretty even. Uh, DPS obviously has a slight edge there, being a higher level. A few more talent points. What I'm really waiting on is uh, Winter's Chill. Just more increases to our chance to critically hit. Uh, then we also need to come back up and grab all of this. I just don't know what we should do first. Maybe I should max out Ice Shards. And, uh, and Shatter. We have so many points to spend. We probably want Improved Cone of Cold. Reduces damage taken by Frost and Fire. I don't think we need that. It'd be a nice to have, but I don't think we need it. But yeah, we have about a million more points to spend in the Frost Tree before we even think about going anywhere else. I don't really see where anything else is going to be that great for us. Maybe something in Arcane. No, there's really... There doesn't look like there's a good reason to go into any of the other trees. Right here, maybe. Reduce your target's resistance to all your spells by 5 and threat caused by arcane. Uh, even that's not that great. Yeah, I really don't see a good reason to spend a single point anywhere else. Maybe I'll think again once we've got everything we want, but there's so many things that I want. And there's so many things that would just be like a nice to have. Um, and, I, and I can't see myself spending points improving Fireball or going into Impact. We're, we're not going to be using Fire Spells while we level. So, yeah, same thing kind of with Arcane. Interesting. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's good. I guess it's good that there are so many good talents in Frost because it looks like that's where we're going to be spending a lot of our, our points. With other classes, I feel like you, you try to get down to the bottom and then you have talents that you really want to get from the other trees, but... With Mage, at least those top talents, you really don't want any of the top talents in Arcane or Fire because you're not casting Arcane or Fire spells as a Frost Mage. Yeah, same thing if you were a Fire Mage, you, you would come in here for Elemental Precision and that would be about all you wanted. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we have some stuff to turn in. Yo! Right back. That was a little breadcrumb to take us to Nessingori's camp, so not much there. We got all the blood scalp ears. We got all the tumbled crystals. It's expensive and hard to kill enough tigers to support the export of tiger fangs to the islands of the South Seas. Luckily, we've developed techniques that allow us to take mundane horn-like objects and turn them into undetectable forgeries. They want us to get 18 skull splitter tusks. Stone of the Tides. He wants us to get six water elemental bracers from the island that we discovered off the coast to the north. We can go ahead and take that. I'm going to set my hearthstone here as well. Bring 10 singing blue crystal shards. Okay, so this is another venture company mining operation. Let's do this. Uh, because in a minute, we're going to go teleport and learn our level 38 spells. Uh, scaring Shaky, we could probably grab soon, but maybe not yet. We're 
We're going to turn in the Crocolis skins to this guy. He's going to want us to get some more Crocolis skins of a different quality. Five Snapjaw Crocolis skins. Okay, let's go ahead here. We do have our hearth off cooldown. We can teleport back to Stormwind really quick and we can learn our level. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not paying attention. We don't need to go. We're not 38. You guys are probably already yelling at me. I looked. I looked. We're 37. I don't know why I thought we were 38. It's wishful thinking, I guess. Blood Cell Buccaneers, we could do soon, but we're not going to do it right now. Do we want to just fly up to the Rebel Camp? I think so. Let's fly up to the Rebel Camp. Uh, we'll go check out the situation over at uh, Curzon's compound over here. Or, or maybe we'll hold off on that. Maybe we will go try to get our Crocolis skins. Okay. Increases all stats for two hours. Spirit of Zandalar. That actually scared the living crap out of me. It, it looked like the game was about to seize up in some strange manner uh, for some strange reason. Let's get a repair. Not in here, because there's nobody in here. Mm, interesting. And we could probably stand to sell some stuff as well. Uh, this might be better. They have a little bit of spirit on it. We lose one increase to magical spells and effects. We gain five spirit. We'll take it. Why not? I've had these on for a long time. We are getting cut quite a bit of silk. I think I can still use silk in leveling up our tailoring, although we are moving kind of more into mage weave. Have a good one. All right, uh, let's get to the flight tower here. Talk to me. Now, even though we don't have skills to train because we're level 37, we can come in here and we can spend a talent point. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, critical strike chance against our frozen targets. Critical strike damage bonus. Let's finish Shatter off first since we're closer to finishing off Shatter than we are Ice Shards. Maybe we just go back and forth for a little bit between these two until... Uh, until they're both finished off. That, that, that feels okay. Single target for us has been a lot of fun, guys. I, I'm at a point where I have no desire to respect to do AoE pulls. I'm kind of over it. It seemed like it might have been a good idea to start with, but now the more we've been in single target for us, the more I've been enjoying that. Let's go over to the river and work our way down to the south a little bit and we'll see if we can at least get the rest of these crocolis skins that we need. And then maybe we'll hold off on Curzon's compound. I think I want to tackle that on a morning. 
Because I feel like in the mornings there's going to be less people in the cave farming out the commandos and guys that we need, so... This could go the same way. I mean, it's 5 o'clock on a Sunday evening. Lots of people have opportunity to play during these hours, so sometimes things get a little bit busier. And subsequently, enemies are a little bit more farmed out. It's not the river cro crocolisk we need, I think it's the large river crocolisk. Yeah, here we go. No, snapjaw. Snapjaw crocolisks. Perfect. That was a big resist. It looks like there are some on both sides of the river, so we kind of have our choice. There's already someone over there fighting that one. But we'll keep our eyes open on either bank. Buffing up before doing evocate is something that I need to remember to do. I think that Frost Nova was too soon, but we got him with Frostbite instead, so I got really lucky there.
Well, that's unfortunate. We'll go ahead and help him finish it off. That way we're not stuck in combat. There's one over here in the middle of the river. Looks like he was overlooked. Uh, and one right behind us, precariously close to us. Really close. Kind of surprised he hasn't pulled yet, actually. There he goes. It's in situations like this that I don't really know what to do. I just kind of run away until I can Frost Nova them. Uh, I can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and take a bunch of damage, and uh, mana armor is only going to last for so long, so... Yeah, the drop rate is not very good for this one, similar to how it wasn't really good for the other one, but for the other one we only needed two of the skins. This one we need five, so... Just gonna take a little bit more time. And these Draenei are, you know, farming them out. Which is wonderful! It's wonderful that we can't get any... There we go. This is the law of the jungle. The law of the jungle is whoever tags it first. And we got an item from that one. Just a little friendly competition. You kind of have to get to that point when there are so many people on doing the same quest. Whoa, what was that? Uh, Stalvin's Reaper. One-handed axe. Chance on hit lowers all attributes of the target by two for one minute. Well, that's a pretty cool little item. Obviously not something that we need, but maybe something we could put on the auction house for a handful of gold. It's so cool to just get a random blue by an unequip. It's, it's one of the most, like enjoyable random things that can happen in the game is just like randomly getting a blue, randomly getting an epic. What's really funny is we've leveled a lot of characters, guys, right? We have we have leveled a lot of characters in Classic. I don't think we've ever gotten a random epic to drop. 
I don't think we've ever gotten a random epic. I remember, I think it was my original Tauren Warrior in Ungoro Crater, I got a random axe. A two-handed epic axe. That was incredible, as you can imagine. Uh, because it was something that I was able to equip. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen more epics drop just by the sheer amount of hours we've put into Classic. Alright, well there we go. That's the last item we need from those guys. We've got lots of other stuff we could do. Uh, level 38 stuff. We're kind of getting to a point where we're running out of at-level stuff to do. It makes me think maybe we ought to think about leveling up somewhere else for a little bit. We've got stuff in Hillsbrad that's going gray. I don't think I'm going to do questing out of Hillsbrad. We never followed up with Stalvin's quest. Oh, uh, the Alter Egg Mountain, same thing. I don't really think I'm going to be doing a lot of questing out of there. I think where we might go, we might go to the Arathi Highlands and do some stuff. We've got Northfold Manor we can do. That's a level 31 quest that's going to go gray pretty soon. If we want to do some stuff there, we can do that. We can do Witherbark Village. There's not a lot. Like, honestly, there's not a ton of stuff. But there's a few things we can do. I think we need to be a miner to get the bloodstone ore. Maybe we'll check the auction house. Pretty sure we have to be a miner. Uh, we need to get this turned in. Now we need an Elder Crocolisk skin. That'll be the last part of his chain. Let's uh, let's go back to Stormwind and we'll check the auction house to see about the Bloodstone ore, and we'll uh, we'll put Stalvin's Reaper up on the. It's funny we didn't finish Stalvin's mystery, but we found his Reaper, so I guess mystery solved, right? Should also check on Theramore and uh yeah everything there 35 35 33 is the missing diplomat 37 38 30 38 40 here Zeppelin crash is 40 we can go here anytime I'd like to be level 38 level 38 seems like uh it would be a good level for us to be and at that level we could do basically we can grab everything we can hit up all these points, grab every quest, and we could we could work through the zone. Maybe we work through from like top to bottom. Something like that. But yeah, it's gonna be time to go there soon. Very, very soon. I do need to start le leveling up my tailoring a bit. I can do that now that I have some silk. Let's go check the auction house. Bloodstone ore, and then we'll see if there are any other Stalvin Reapers up, and we'll, uh, we'll find a price we can put it up for. I don't imagine it's going to sell for a lot. It's a level 32 blue. It doesn't have any stats on it. It has a cool chance on hit. That's not really what you're looking for. You're looking for, like, stats.
Uh, is it lesser bloodstone ore that we need? Lesser bloodstone ore. Okay, yep. Yeah, I think we just, we buy these, right? Let's buy four of them. And then let's have a look for Stalvin's Reaper. Uh, yeah, there's some of them that have been up here. 30 seems like a lot. I'm, I'm gonna put this up for uh, for 25 gold. And we'll see if we can, it, that, that seems like so much to me. I, I'm gonna feel bad if I sell this for 25 gold. It's actually gonna make me feel a little bad. But we'll, we'll try it, we'll put it up there for that. If it doesn't sell, then I'm gonna put it up for like 10 or 15 gold, which is kind of what I feel like it's worth. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna check my mailbox. I think I just have a bunch of return stuff that didn't sell. Oh, uh, we got, yeah, I, I put up all these headbands for like a really cheap price. I'm gonna grab all these and just vendor them. For now, we'll grab these. That should complete that quest. And we'll grab the silver here. I'm gonna grab these out and I'm just gonna vendor them all. I put them up there for like 20 silver each, seeing if maybe I could sell a few. Doesn't really seem like, uh, I put a lot more than a few up as you can see. But yeah, we'll grab all this stuff off of here and I'll just vendor it all. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a bit of a break here. I think next time we will step into uh, Arathi Highlands and do some stuff there. That should get us a little ways towards 38, possibly even 38. Might do another cathedral run as well. That could be fun, and maybe we can actually get an item off the boss. And then as soon as we hit level 38, maybe even as far as 39, then we will go into Duswallow Marsh. Thank you guys for being here. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other. And we'll see you back here again really soon. Bye now.